What's up guys, it's Orfully215 here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the secret walkie-talkie weapon in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Okay, so first things first, this is only going to work on Xbox One. Don't spam me saying do it for PS4, show how to do it for PS4. The UI stack is permanently fixed on PS4. It is only going to work on Xbox One. Now you're going to need two controllers and one friend to do this glitch. Controller number one is going to be the Dummy account and controller number two is going to be the account you want to get the walkie talkie on. So using controller number one, you want to go into multiplayer. Once you're in multiplayer, you want to go ahead and sign in controller number two. Using controller number one, you want to go into custom games. Now using controller number two, you want to select setup game, edit game rules, create a class, edit preset classes, and then you want to select whatever class you want the walkie-talkie on. So for instance, if you've already done a glitch in your primary slot, you want to select the second slot down or third or whatever slot you want it to be on your public match classes. Once you've selected the class, you want to make sure you're hovering over the primary weapon. Now you want your friend to send your controller number one account a game invite. Now using controller number one, you want to accept that invite and the second that you accept that invite, you need to spam a on controller number two. This might take a couple of tries, but if you get it correctly, when you join your friend, your screen will be stacked like mine is. Now, once you join your friend, you want to tell him to kick your dummy account. Once you're kicked from the lobby, just go ahead and remove that error message. Now, using controller number one, you want to get to the campaign menu. So how to do that from the screen is, it's going to be B all the way until you get the option to exit. You want to cancel that and go all the way to the top and press A. Once you're in campaign, using controller number two, you want to press B if you're not already in the screen with primary, secondary, lethal slots, all that. Once you get to this screen, you want to go into your lethal or tactical slot and then select whatever weapon is able to be unlocked and hover over the unlock option. Now using controller number one, you want to press B, down, down, a. This is going to put you into the zombies menu. Wait for that to load up and then go all the way to the bottom and press A. Now once you're in this screen, you want to go to secondaries and then hover over the bowie knife. Now using controller number two, you want to press A. Once you've done that, using controller number one, you want to back out of the zombies menu, which is going to be B, 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 and then once you're at the main screen here, you want to go up one, click A, and then scroll all the way to the top and then click A again. This is gonna put you in the public match menu. Now using controller number two, you wanna go ahead and scroll over to where it says War Machine and click A. You are now gonna have Heat Wave in your lethal or tactical slot. Now using controller number one, you wanna scroll all the way to the top and click A and you wanna just start up a public match. Once you end up in the public match, you can go ahead and just spawn in and then you can immediately leave. This step is just to permanently save the heat wave into your lethal or tactical slot. Now once you end up backing out, you could go ahead and sign out of your dummy account because the glitch is pretty much done. Now using your main account, you want to put on the gambler specialist. This is only going to work with the gambler specialist. So this is where it's going to get really confusing and kind of hard to explain, but try to keep up with me guys. So when you go into a game with the gambler specialist, you need to unlock your specialist and have it fully charged. Now once your specialist is fully charged, the last person that you ended up killing is going to be what determines what you pull out using this glitch. So let me explain that a little bit. If you kill somebody with rejack and then you get your specialist, when you click the right bumper or left bumper and you hold it in, you're going to permanently have the animation of your arm coming across your face as if you're going to rejack. Now I'm not quite sure what specialist causes the next weapon to appear but it is actually called the M27. It's currently not in the game just yet. Now, once again, I'm not entirely sure what specialist you have to kill to get this, but I've noticed that I've been able to get this a couple times. And this is the same way. If you just happen to kill that right person and then you die and hold in right or left bumper, it'll pull out this weapon. Now, you can't shoot with this or anything of that nature. It's just cool to, you know, have in a final kill cam or something like that. And finally, I've only been able to pinpoint one specialist 
specialist, but I've been able to notice if you kill the sparrow, the specialist with the bow and arrow, it will give you the walkie-talkie. Now, the weird part about this is, is the walkie-talkie varies in how it looks. I haven't been able to fully understand, like, why. I put on my Peacekeeper class, and then when I did it, it, like, was more clearly noticeable that I was holding the walkie-talkie, rather than when I used a different class, the walkie-talkie was kind of closer to the screen and harder to see. So this glitch is, like, super weird, and when you're in theater mode, you actually can't see your guy holding anything at all. One quick mention, if you happen to kill a person, and let's say you didn't get the walkie-talkie or the animation that you wanted, you can push left on the D-pad, and it will re-roll the specialist of the last person you killed, so you'll pretty much get another shot at possibly getting either the walkie-talkie, the M27, or the rejack animation. So yeah, guys, this is super weird. I don't fully understand this glitch, but that is how to get the secret walkie-talkie weapon in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. And as always, guys, it's Philly 2 on 5 Peace!